Hello everyone and welcome to Overcoming with Shannon Monique. Thank you for joining me on this channel to hear what the word of the Lord has to say. Um, these messages are birthed from very intimate conversations that I have with the Lord. And what I mean by intimate is just um, a time where it's just the Lord and I. I like to do it early in the morning when I'm not being disturbed. Um, and I just have that quiet time between the Lord and I. And oftentimes, this is where these words are being birthed from, or just maybe being in um, a place where my spirit is quieted. So I might be out running around and about, but in my mind, I'm meditating and I have my mind on the Lord. The word says that we should pray without ceasing, right? And so, you know, you can be out and about doing things, but you still have your mind stayed on Jesus. And so oftentimes this is where these words are coming from. So it's very, um, it's very special. It's, it's very special um, that I take my time and that I also make sure that I am capturing exactly what the Holy Spirit wants me to say so that you can get exactly what it is. Um, that you need so that you can move forward, you know, on your journey. And so today's message is what do you do when you come against the spirit of competition? And what do I mean by a spirit of competition? Well, um, for most of us, we know that sometimes um, we will come against someone who is always uh, wanting to compete with those things that we're doing. Um, if we come out with a new hairstyle, they're trying to come out with a better hairstyle. Um, if you, if the Lord blesses you with a brand new car, they want to try to get a better car. Um, you know, if you are dressed in a particular way, they want to try to outdress you. That's what I mean by coming up against a competitive spirit, a spirit that is always trying to outdo you when all you're doing is trying to live your best life. And so the Lord wants to speak to that today. And the father is saying, when you come against an unrighteous spirit that wants to compete with you, you are to stand your ground. He wants you to stand your ground. He does not um, want you to allow that unrighteous spirit to project onto you. Any person operating in this way has agreed to allow the unrighteous spirit to use them. Now, with that being said, all spirits need a willing vessel, whether, spirit, whether the spirit is righteous or whether the spirit is unrighteous. It needs a willing vessel vessel. And when we speak about that unrighteous competitive spirit, it, it finds a source. It finds a vessel. Why? Because usually that person feels inferior to you. And that spirit knows that. That spirit knows that that vessel is already having issues. And so the spirit wants to use an unclean way to help make that vessel feel better about themselves. See, that person, because they have not gone to do the work themselves, they try to control the narrative. If they can manipulate you into thinking that they are better than you, then for them, they've just put a band-aid on their wound. And that wound is their emotional trauma. This is an easy way for them to deal with what's really going on inside. And for some, doing it the right way, it takes time. It takes courage, it's painful, and requires a lot of hard work. So what the enemy does is he goes to that vessel and he convinces them 
to take the shortcut, to take the easy way out. And when that vessel allows that unrighteous spirit to enter in and that out, uh, unrighteous spirit has manifested in the natural, low self-esteem and a sense of unworthiness starts to grow. It starts to spread like a disease. But the Lord is saying, for those of you who are coming against these unrighteous spirits of, of, of competitiveness, he's telling you to stand your ground in Jesus' name. Your strength and your ability to overcome is in Yeshua HaMashiach. Now, for some of you, you may not know what Yeshua HaMashiach means. It means Jesus, the Messiah. It's in Hebrew, and it's actually the proper name. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't use the name of Jesus. You can. You can. But, you know, in all that I get and get understanding and in my studies and my time with the Lord, he deals with me and prayerfully will have a message to come out about that. But I just, I don't want to throw anyone off. I know sometimes we may have some, um, some babes in the Lord. Those who don't quite know and understand why things are being said. I just wanted to break that down for you. But the Lord is saying that he wants you to be very careful with what you come into agreement with or who you come into agreement with, no matter how small it seems. See, the unrighteous spirit chose you because you're actually on the right path. That unrighteousness sees the righteousness in you, the goodness in you that comes from the Lord. And the enemy's plan is to rob you of it. Proverbs chapter 12 verse 3 says, Man cannot be made secure by wickedness. That's not how you become secure within yourself. It says, but the root of the righteous is immovable. So when you feel that unrighteous spirit rising against you, stand your ground and call on the name of the Lord to assist you. The father will then lead you into your next steps. And if he doesn't, don't be surprised. Sometimes the Lord does not want you to respond. He just wants you to stand. And all that means is that he's fighting that battle for you in Jesus name. The Lord said, be confident, sure of yourself and resist the enemy for he will surely flee. And sometimes when a person realizes that they can't move you, that they see that you are standing your ground, they try and tarnish your name or your character. The Lord is saying, don't worry about that either. Give it all to him because the father is going to take care of it. Your only job is to stay focused on Jesus and your mission. Continue walking in your purpose and the Lord will fight your battles in Jesus name. You guys have a beautiful day. And remember, you are never alone. Despite how the enemy tries to make you feel, you always have the Lord by your side. He is only a call away. Amen.